this is what I brought to New York to be a headshot. Of course, it was totally inappropriate as a headshot, but I like it because I like my hair in this. And I was 27 years old when this picture was taken, I think. And I like that jacket too. I don't know where that jacket went. Welcome, I'm Jim Fredericks, come on in. This is my apartment. We are in my rent controlled apartment where I've been living since September of 1976. I coach uh, singers and I give voice lessons here and now I'm doing it on Zoom with my little laptop uh, but um, this is the place for teaching right here. This is from a Broadway show from the 60s. Make just one heart the heart you sing to me. One face that cheers you, one face that lights when it nears you, one man everything to The ceilings are high, it's good for singing. I only sing during the day, occasionally at night, but I never sing past eight o'clock for my neighbors. And I've never had a complaint in all the years I've lived here about my music making, which I find very flattering of my neighbors that no one's ever complained. So this is sort of the picture gallery, um, theatrical posters. This is a show I directed at the Morningside Players, Love is in the Air. Uh, Alec Baldwin and Jessica Lang and Streetcar Named Desire. The famous New Yorker poster. New York being the center of the earth, of course, in this picture. And this poster, this Big Apple poster, was autographed by Robert Redford. This was a promo that was done in the late 70s when New York was kind of broke. And for $100 or something, you could get a poster autographed by a star. And it says, you have to be a little crazy to live in New York, but you'd be nuts to live anywhere else. April 76. This is my little kitchen where I don't, I'm not a cook, but everyone needs a refrigerator. Uh, all magnets are from many of my travels. I'm a big Caribbean island person, so a lot of this is from the Caribbean. So Jim, if you don't cook, what do <laughs> I eat do? out or I order in menus. Menus are really important. I've got a, my sheaf of menus. What's the last meal you cooked? You don't want to know. Uh, probably during the blizzard, I probably heated up some stuff. So I came here to study voice for two years and I never left. I started doing some dinner theater and that's when I sort of, oh, I'm gonna stay here. What's dinner theater? Back, back in the day, a lot of actors made their living doing theater, uh, places where you literally saw a show and you had dinner and they were huge and a lot of, Stars did dinner theater. Burt Reynolds had a, the Burt Reynolds Theater in Florida. Very famous. How many Broadway shows do you think you've seen in your life? I have no idea. A thousand. I don't know. <laughs> 500 plus. Do you have a favorite performance that you were in in your career in New York? Well, something that sticks out forever will be uh, when a group of us were hired to be the chorus in my favorite musical, Carousel, at Carnegie Hall with Hugh Jackman and Audrey McDonald, June 2002. And I got to meet Hugh Jackman and he was just terrific. My parents brought me this piano in 1980 from a, a piano place in Elizabeth, New Jersey. It was, had to get rid of a lot of pianos. And we got a real bargain on this. And the first year we did it, I did a caroling party for my neighbors and I've never missed a caroling party at Christmas. Even this year, although people couldn't be in the apartment, they stood out in the lobby and listened and sang, and some people even stood outside and sang. We'll have Manhattan, the Bronx and Staten Island too. It's lovely going Street, you know, the subway charms us so when balmy breezes blow to and fro. 
And tell me what street compares with Mott Street in July. Sweet push cars gently glide The great big city is a wondrous toy just made for a girl and boy.